Hi there, it's Larry and welcome to Tech Savvy Team. Today I'll share with you an amazing projector by Anchor that has been super popular for the past year and so. It was released in 2019 and it's called the Nebula Capsule 2. This projector is easy to set up so let's see what's in the box. In the box you get a quick start guide, a basic remote control that you can control the projector just like a smart TV. And aha! Uh -huh. Wow! And here's the Nebula Capsule 2. Oh, not too light, it's very sturdy, great design, very sleek, and it has a very clean style. If it was white, I think Steve Jobs would really love this. And in here, Okay, and this is the power adapter. Okay, so pull up like this. It looks like it's a 5 volt, 3 amps output. And over here is a type C connector. And there's also a cable that comes with it. With both ends being a type C. Okay, so that's how you charge your projector. So speaking about this projector, it's very good design because the whole cylinder is an exterior air ventilation. In the back, you have four sockets. You have a auxiliary for audio, HDMI, uh, this is a USB and a USB-C. Up here you have a power, a Bluetooth and a power indicator. And the top, when the projector is on, it lights up when you touch it. It's for controlling the, the cursor. Now, you can connect your smart devices to it by downloading the Nebula Connect app and opening it. We'll do this later using the Android and the iOS. And on the bottom of this projector is a uh, socket for tripod. Speaking about tripod, I also purchased the Nebula uh, tripod stand. So let's take a look at that. Okay, okay, comes with an Allen key and a Nebula user menu. Oh wow, the tripod is super compact and it's very sturdy, well built. Okay. So I could bring this higher and tighten this on the bottom and then bring this up and tighten it again and it looks like you get about a feet and a half of height here and then all you have to do is screw into here okay it's very sturdy and I could do something like this put it on the side the tripod do something like that. See, okay, so it gotta be at an angle. Or oh, I could turn it this way. There you go. Okay. And you know, with this, I like to travel it with it because it's super portable. Bring to my office or bring it to even camping. Uh, speaking about traveling, I also purchased a traveling case. And let's take a look at this inside. So yeah, pretty simple design and all I have to do is put the projector inside. Okay. And uh, another thing I could put in is uh, the remote control and uh, power adapter. And close this like that. Very compact, very simple design, I like it. So this projector is a HQ quality with a one second autofocus up to 720p and reaches up to 100 inches with high brightness of 200 NC lumens. Works anywhere between dark to high lit areas, uh, which is about 1400 lumens. 
So that equates about 100 watt light bulb, uh, which is uh, 1600 lumens. It has a long battery life, easy cables to charge and will light up green when fully charged. You can use the capsule whilst charging. So for example, if I have a power bank, I could plug this in and with something like this, I could binge, but in any case, with this device on a standalone, it could last up to 30 hours for Bluetooth speakers. You can watch many, many shows. It has Wi-Fi connection, and you can use apps to download shows. For example, it lets you download a show for offline viewing. Not all shows are enabled for this, but many are. The Capsule 2 only has 8GB of storage, and some storage goes to operating system which is the Android TV 9.0. In addition, you can copy shows onto a USB stick and insert it into your projector in the USB slot and watch it. This is very convenient. There's no need of bringing a laptop for HDMI and you don't have to all huddle on a phone to watch the show. This unit contains over 3,600 apps. For example, YouTube, Twitch, Hulu. Even more apps could be added just by downloading Chromecast. Built-in Bluetooth 8 watt speakers, what's not to like? The Verge, which is an American technology news website with over 3 million subscribers, picked this capsule as the best mini projector last summer. Now let's check out the Nebula Capsule 2 menu system. Okay, I just turned on the projector. I put it on a tripod stand about 1 feet off my desk. And it's about 65 inches away from the screen and I'm getting 50 inch screen right now. So this is how it looks like. On the top you get home, discover, apps, charging, the battery, the settings, and the time. Now let's go to the settings. You get to set your device name, network and internet, accounts and sign in, apps, device preferences, projector settings, HDMI, remotes and accessories. So let's take a quick look at each one. Set your device name. Okay, so you choose a name for your your device basically. And that's the name and on this case I would like to say uh, Android TV. Okay, great. Now the network, you just enter your Wi-Fi network, accounts and sign in, I use my Google account, and you can add more accounts looks like, which is quite interesting. I have a premier Google account, and apps, so updates and backup, see all apps, so this there's all the apps that's already pre-installed. Show system apps. So this is the system apps. Right now we're just going through all the apps and see what the menu system looks like. And this is very good for our techs to look into if they ever encounter a situation where they need to troubleshoot this projector. Wow, there's tons of system apps in here. Okay. Apps permission. So here I guess you give all the permissions to what apps are allowed. Okay. So let's take a quick look at some of them. Are uh, sensors? No apps. Calendar. Okay, so that's a Google Calendar. Interesting. Camera Contact Okay now let's take a look at the video uh, Over here we have the Black Widow So let's take a look at that Let's play the trailer Okay the volume right now is very low I'm gonna Pump it up it's 50%. 
you're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait this until the like interest 75. rates go down. This is on my story. That's pretty good. I made mistakes. Taskmaster. Hey, that was pretty good. You can show. Let's try another one. Luca. That was hard to watch. You, uh, coming? Be boy, be boy, be okay, that was also pretty good. Let's try one more. Uh, let's try YouTube. Oh, how about my channel? Hi there, this is Larry and welcome to TechSavvy Team. Today I have a great computer to share with you. It is that was pretty good too. I think the last one's the best. Okay, so there you have it. That's how it looks like on the projector. Okay, now we uh, we're gonna try this again with uh, in blackout mode, meaning that we turn off all our lights and see how it looks like. And we're gonna look at the same uh, trailers again. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband, he renovates houses. You're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. Before I was an Avenger. Okay, that was even better. And let's try Luca again. That was hard to watch. Okay, that was it. So let's see how hard it is to connect it from an Android phone, an iPad, and a laptop. This should offer endless entertainment for you, your friends, and your family. I currently have a Samsung Galaxy A01, an iPad Air 2, and a Dell Inspiron laptop with Windows 10. Let's see how easy it is to connect these devices to your Nebula Capsule 2 projector. Okay now, uh, I'm going to try to connect the iPad to uh, my Nebula projector. Okay, we go to App Store and we already downloaded the Nebula uh, Connect app. We click on the Capsule 2 and it sees it. Let's try and connect it. And it has this dear customer. We have developed a new method to install and launch Netflix and more apps on your Android TV. Enable Capsule 2. Please download the Nebula Manager app from the TV Play Store. We will remove the end button for now. Thank you for your understanding. Click OK. Slide to move, tap to confirm. Aha, uh -huh. this is pretty cool. So I have the mouse, I have a controller, press the home, I have the mouse, I want to go to YouTube. Double tap, and there you go. So you have the mouse feature, and then there's a controller. How does the controller work? Okay, I slide it. Okay, slide up, down, okay, that's pretty good. Go home. Okay, so that was easy on the iPad. Okay, now we're going to use the Android uh, phone to connect to the Nebula projector. I just restarted it because we have a hard time uh, using the Nebula Connect before. And let's see if this time it works. I'm going to do a search on Nebula Connect. I'm going to open it. Okay, a little bit different, looks like there's another extra screen. That's a good sign, I guess. Click on Capsule 2, and try and connect to the Bluetooth. Let's 
so it was not able to see it. My guess is because I already have my iPad connected to it. So let me turn that off, Bluetooth. Okay, I turn off the i the Bluetooth off my iPad. I have it turned off. Let me try connect to the Capsule 2 again. Okay, this time it sees it. So it's important to make sure you turn off one Bluetooth so that the projectors can pick up the next one. Okay. And would you like to install the Netflix or on the projector? Uh, maybe later. Let's do that a little bit later. Again, we have the mouse feature so we can move it and a controller. So that was pretty easy. With the Android device, I needed to restart the phone after I installed the Never uh, Connect app. Very important that you do that to get this to work. Okay, now for the laptop connection. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm not going to use the Never Connect app to connect to a uh, projector. I'm just going to use a basic HDMI cable and connect to it. And the reason behind that is we take our laptop to the on the field and do some PowerPoint presentation. I, and I want to show you how easy it is to do this. You just have your laptop turned on, you plug it in to the side port of the HDMI, and then you plug it to the back of the HDMI socket. And it will automatically search for your HDMI signal. And voila, that's it, you're in. And uh, from there, you just go into PowerPoint and do your presentation. Very, very easy. So what do you think, folks? What do you think about this Nebula Capsule 2? Was it good for you? You know, the reason why I purchased it was for business and work-related reasons and also for entertainment, to bring it out for camping. Especially like this case, this travel case, super compact, and this tripod stand. Uh, you definitely need all these three components to make it work for you. You know, I, I think for the projector, you know, you definitely need the tripod and if you're gonna travel, you definitely need the travel case. So overall, it's an excellent product for me. It's super portable and I think I'm gonna use it for years to come. Thank you. So, how do you like the video? If you enjoyed it and want to see more, please click on the like and subscribe button below. If there's anything we can improve on or something you want us to reveal, please let us know in the comments. This is Larry and we are your Tech Savvy Team, connecting you with technology.